Vijay Shekhar Sharma, so good to have you on CNBC TV 18. My first question, of course, Paytm as a company has done fabulously well uh, in the time of demonetization drive by the government. Now that we are going to get limitless cash supply from 13th of March, how are you going to stay relevant and uh, continue to have the market share that you acquired? What we know in the month of January and February that has happened is that uh, uh, for us, offline transactions in February declined for the first time, not in the January. Mm. And in February, the offline declined, but overall still remained big, meaning month on month we remained the growth. Okay. So December to January, we had 12% growth. Yes. And as far as MTD right now would be considered, it'll be 2 or 3% growth mm -hmm. because offline is seeing 15 to 20% dip in offline transactions. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I always said that, that at least 20, if not 30, will be the percentage decline that we will anyway see. Mm -hmm. If we retain 70% of what we had built, we actually have a larger than online category with us. Mm -hmm. And that is where the business, I think, remains with us. So you are ready for uh, some decline? Uh, no, obviously, we, we had publicly quoted it earlier yes. that I believe that 20 to 30 percent will be. Yes. If it goes more than 35, 40, then offline becomes a smaller category for us overall. But today we believe that in wherever the money comes in the market, offline will remain bigger transaction category for PDM than online. So in terms of the digital wallet uh, ecosystem, Vijay, have you really gone deep and penetrated vertically as well for its use? Energy transportation communication being the top use case, then comes retail, and then comes food, and those are growing any which way. So structured, we are there with all LFRs, large format retailers, we are there with all organized retail. But what is that we are yet to do, and I want to share that, is, is about the reach, the depth we would quote here. So you know that top 100 city constitutes significant percentage of the India's economy, and that is where the lot of push goes. What we are chasing are 500 and 600 city right now. So we have reached about 450 districts, while India has about 680. So we are we have an obligation to reach every district and we have an obligation to employ in every district mm. of India and then build an ecosystem there. So is your customer acquisition on the rise now? Yeah, that is something which is surprisingly has not declined. I think this is because of the network effect and uh, th a little bit of push that we are doing. Uh, when we say push, it means that we are trying to get aggressive in terms of uh, training panchayat and uh, village level of depth where we are tra talking about what Paytm can do. And basically hygiene level, when you have platform, then it is useful for everyone. Local language support is something magic, it did magic to us. Does your wallet business now dependent on uh, the marketplace? and the traffic coming in from there, from there for revenue generation. Marketplace standalone is doing incredibly well mm -hmm. and we believe that now with the independent company and amount of independent funding that we led to it, it will become a sizable play. What percentage is it right now? Are you heavily dependent? It's less than 20%. Okay. Of the total GDV, it's less than 20%. And what Actually, I can sound? give you the stats. Paytm does more than 5,000 crore a month. Yeah. Marketplace is not doing 1,000 crore. Oh, okay. And is that set to increase? Are you seeing a big opportunity here because you get captive? Yeah, that's uh, right. Marketplace is a great opportunity. Remember that globally, the payment systems have always anchored on marketplace. Mm -hmm. It is only in India and in Paytm's case that it has become offline as an anchor and recharges as an anchor before that. So for us, anchors have been recharge offline marketplace mm -hmm. and marketplace will remain one of the key anchors. So when uh, you are looking at this as a big opportunity for you to tap for the wallet business, yes. do you think that that convergence is the way forward for your industry? Yes. I do, I do believe that standalone payment business is anyways dead on arrival because there is a business model that we are building with 0% commission fee and mm -hmm. I mean 10 towards 0 business model for everyone. If you are a standalone wallet business and do not have friendship with other ecosystem players or have an ecosystem built inside you, mm -hmm. I don't know how long will you be able to survive. It will be costlier to survive. You can do a lot of other things. You have an obligation to do a lot of other things. Okay. Sooner the better, otherwise long term there is money is out of the bank. So do you believe that convergence is the way forward and you will be acting as one of the consolidators? As far as the payment industry is concerned uh, or the commerce industry is concerned? Commerce industry. Commerce industry, we believe that we will be definitely playing a role of a dominating player and my personal target is uh, in a commerce industry that in two years we become relevant number two. In the commerce industry yes, and sir. can that be organic? Yeah, it'll be organic. I don't, uh, uh, look, let me say this. Mm. Um, 
when we built a marketplace and we went out to raise funding for marketplace, we had a clear articulation of obligation of how we are going to raise money, whom are we, <coughs> whom are we going to raise money for, how much of money commitment are we looking for. Mm -hmm. And that simply that was that when the final battle of e-commerce is being decided that, okay, so these are the players, we want to be the last two in that for sure. So Paytm, marketplace, obligately is built with a target and has future commitments for final number two play. And in that play, the battle royale that will happen, mm -hmm. <laughs> I believe that there will be a magic battle. And I, and, and, and I can't wait for die. it. I, uh, till that journey, many will have to get consolidated, mm -hmm. whether uh, Perium Marketplace or other players. I don't think that is a discussion yet on the table. But we know one thing for sure, that we are in it for a final battle fight, that mm -hmm. we will be the last two, one of the last two players, and we will aim for the top position. That's it. So are and you hinting at, let me put it in words then, what are you hinting at Alibaba backed uh, Paytm uh, looking at a model to take Amazon head on? Paytm marketplace starts with an advantage of the mobile first, starts with an advantage of third party first and all levels, right. and third it also sits on advantage of access to Alibaba ecosystem for all Indian sellers to be able to sell to the world, which is the largest selling platform in the world. Right. So I, I do believe there is a legitimate, legitimate opportunity for us and very big opportunity for us to become the yeah. final player in this race. How much time are you giving yourself for that? Three years. This country will definitely reach in last two or three stages. Vijay, so far you are sounding much more excited about your e-commerce marketplace business than the wallet business which has really given you most amount of revenue so far. My personal scope of business in my LinkedIn resume, if you notice, is from start of business to significant middle. <laughs> and I'm a, I'm a Gemini who, who chases new excitements of businesses and challenges. Okay. So for me, the payment business is reaching significant middle. Mm. And commerce business is going to go through some magic fight. <laughs> bank is in a totally early stage. So there is a tremendous amount of excitement of in the bank. Yes. So, so my scope personally will always be when you talk from a start of business to significant middle. That is what my work is.